Hi guys and uh, welcome to Andy's Weird World and today actually um, I've been actually asked by one of my subscribers, his name is Luke, to come visit a um, Halton or Horton house. So let's have a look. Well, there you can see that's Halton House over there, and uh, it was originally built in the 17th century. If you're actually not being here, we're not quite sure where it is. I'm going to put the postcode below so you can just zap that in, it'll take you there actually. It's actually near Amp Hill, which is, um, I suppose, really near Bedford and Luton in between I suppose really but if I put the postcode you'll actually find find where it is so uh, we're nearly at the uh, the ruin now because I say it was built in 17th century and um, and it commands nice views from up here as well As I mentioned earlier, it was built in the early 17th century actually by Mary Herbert and evidently this is going to be a, a, a well elaborated um, hunting lodge. So let's have, a, let's have a little nose around anyway. As I said earlier, Horton House has a commanding view of over the parkland that used to belong to the main house. Progress, John Bunyan's religious epic, and uh, it certainly was a grand house. I can see, I can see uh, just up there, there's a fireplace where the old floor used to be. A little bit more history, actually. Um, in 1764, the Duke of Bedford brought this for his son. And uh, he lived here a little while before he had a uh, he had a hunting accident and died. And uh, that was in 1767. Anyway, I'm going down the stairs here. I don't know what's down here actually. Let's see what else there is. YouTube videos actually to see if I could see any other videos, uh, which I did actually, and I found some actually where some people were actually running right at the top of it and jumping from wall to wall. And uh, I tell you what, I wouldn't fancy that, it's a long way to fall. a lot of plaques um, they're showing uh, what this uh, hall looked like all those years ago well the fifth Duke of Bedford actually tried to rent this property out actually but without the park land with it he couldn't do that so um, he actually had the place pulled apart and uh, that's what's happened that's why there's not much of it left now 
So this house has a bit of a sad story actually because um, this house was actually then handed down to the grandson of uh, Francis Russell and he actually, it's, you know, he blames the house for the death of his father or his, or his grandfather should I say. So um, uh, he left the house going in disrespect, he took the roof off, he took all the furniture out and he had no children. So the house was just left with no disrepair and it just, it just fell apart. Very sad actually. I can see a little bit of graffiti out there. Arthur Reed and Jin uh, Reed, August. 90, I think it is. An old fireplace. Let's uh, let's have a look up there and see what we can see. Wow, do you know something? You can even smell, you can smell the smoke. Well, there we go. That's my little trip to um, Houghton House, as requested by Luke. Have a quick look around. I've never been here before, so I found it interesting as well. Hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you did. And uh, if you want to leave a comment, do that as well. Once again, this is Andy saying thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you a little bit later. Bye for now. Bye bye.